A great way to start earning money as a virtual assistant is working with an experienced virtual assistant or with a team of virtual assistants. This is called working as a VA subcontractor. Working as a VA subcontractor means that you're carrying out a portion of the tasks under another virtual assistant's contract or a VA agency's contract with a client. When you perform work as a subcontractor for another VA, that virtual assistant delegates tasks to you. If you're working with a VA agency instead of an individual VA, the agency may delegate an entire client to you rather than just individual tasks. Either way, the company paying you is the VA or VA agency, not the client you're performing the tasks for. So, how do you get work as a VA subcontractor? I'm going to share my top three recommendations with you in this video. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, your business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On my YouTube channel, I'll show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. My top three methods of getting work as a VA subcontractor are, number one, apply at VA agencies. Research virtual assistant agencies online. You're going to find several of them. And then review the information you find to determine if they're hiring, who they're hiring. Do they have requirements such as where you live, what your skills are, and then find out how to apply. If they are hiring and you have the requirements they're looking for, complete their application online or follow their instructions on how to apply. Be very careful to follow their instructions exactly. That's how they do their first cuts, removing those who do not follow instructions exactly. They get hundreds, maybe even thousands of applications. So they limit those they interview by getting rid of those that didn't fill out the application correctly. Number two, research virtual assistants who are busy or who are building teams. When you do an online search for VAs, you're gonna find pages and pages and pages of VAs. If they have an up-to-date website, they're more likely to have a business that might need a VA subcontractor. So do online searches for VAs who provide the same type of specializations you want to provide so you can help them. Or VAs who provide complementary specializations. A complementary specialization is service your target markets might need as an add-on. A perfect example is a VA who creates website but doesn't write web content. If you're a writer, you'd be a perfect subcontractor for this VA so she can offer to write web pages, email campaigns, opt-in pages, and sales pages for her clients. And then she would subcontract the writing to you. Make a list of all the potential prospects that you find online, including their name, their URL to their website, what is it you think you can help them with, and any other details that you want to be sure to mention to them when you talk with them. Get to know VAs you find who have teams or who seem really busy and might need your help by visiting their websites, reading it in depth, signing up for their publications and their freebies, visiting their social media sites, and then commenting on their sites, sharing information, read everything you can about them and their history, and try to understand their values and motivation as best you can from what they make public. Developing a relationship can create a truly great collaboration which can lead to lifelong partnerships. But you must be sincere about this. Only when you are sincere and you come out this with a heart-centered approach will those relationships build and develop. I like to compare business relationship building to dating. You know, you usually date someone for months or even years before you take the step of committing. The same is true of VAs who are willing to hire you. They want to get to know you. So be patient. Take the journey slowly, one step at a time, just like you would with a date. Give first and you shall receive. Ask yourself, what's in it 
for them. Focus on the benefits to them and allow them to get to know you over time. It really is worth your efforts because a great collaboration can result. Reach out to virtual assistants you think you might want to work with. You can give them a call or email them. Do your homework and customize that phone call or that email specifically to them. It's easy to spot generic emails. I get them every day. Number three, research VA groups, forums, anything, and associations. You can find them on Facebook, on LinkedIn. You can research on Google. Learn all you can about these groups or associations to determine if you want to be a part of it. When you find a group that you want to become a part of, Review all their rules and guidelines and then follow those rules and guidelines specifically when posting or commenting. If you're unsure if you can post something, do not post it. First, ask the admin of the group, could I post this? And then after you get permission, post it. It's not one of those situations where you can ask forgiveness later because they will not forget. So how do you get to know someone in an online group? Answer questions that you know the answer to. If you do not know the answer, do not answer it. I know that sounds weird, but people answer them all day long. Be a cheerleader for others. Support them. Subcontracting can really help you grow your confidence and your knowledge while earning money and getting used to the process of working as a virtual assistant. Want to learn more about how to become a well-paid virtual expert, click the link below to watch my free video. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and comment on this video.